Assalamu alaikum everybody welcome back to the channel this is Invest Academy today's video I'm going to share with you how I screen for halal stocks I'm gonna share with you the five ways to the five things that I look at so first thing I'm going to look at is halal revenue then ethical practice debt haram revenue revenue and then cash so I'm gonna go into more details each one of these things but before I get started on that I just want to say obviously you know you work hard for your money you want to invest it in the stock market the first thing you should be doing is to make sure you know the whatever your company you're investing in is actually dealing with halal you know things so you're not buying a company that sells alcohol company that's in debt company that's doing all sorts of haram things or company that's sitting there with a lot of cash and so on okay so and it's important because you, if you think about it if you want a barakah in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you a barakah you need to make sure um, you, that you are doing exactly what is basically prescribed in Islam so please just be mindful of that when you are doing something like this this is what I do every time I'm investing in the stock market initially when I started I didn't have you know enough knowledge but over the last few months I've managed alhamdulillah to learn so much about it because I dedicated so much time and effort to making sure the companies that I'm investing in I basically before I even put a penny I will actually look at their financial details what they do just look dig a little bit deeper go on YouTube read about you know um, read about it watch videos whatever I need to do I will do it just to make sure that company the company that I'm investing in is basically dealing with halal sort of a DN products and so on okay so let's start with this so when it comes to halal revenue you know you first thing you should be doing like I said is to do your research find out what the company does so exactly what do they do what's the where is the money coming from so that's the most important where is the money come from what do they actually sell okay and if they're dealing with anything that's haram obviously then you can just say subhanallah this is not for me I'm gonna find a better company inshallah Okay, so the one of the websites that I use is called um, Seeking Alpha, and I'll show you very quickly how you can find information about the, you know, companies, um, the, what the company deals with. So, this is what's called a uh, company um, called Seeking Alpha. Is I'm only basically using the free section at the moment, so you don't have to actually subscribe. I just basically um, use it whenever I need. So this, this is the company details, and you, as you can see, there's a lot of information about Procter and Gamble. So this is the company that I'm using as a um, as an example here. So you can just read through here and definitely find out whether they're dealing anything basically that's not basically haram at all. Okay. The other thing you could do is just find out. Basically, going through these things, you will know straight away some of these things. Okay, they don't really do much. They do baby stuff, feminine stuff, family stuff, and that sort of a thing. This is a fine company. You probably think, okay, maybe I need to do a little bit more information. And the other thing, I need to find out a bit more information. And the other thing that you could do in order to find a bit more information is to look at the company's you know the revenue the actual revenue where does it actually come from so once you understand the company profile then you can look at the actual revenue so I'm gonna look at Apple for example so if you go to Apple website this is basically the section on investor relations and it has a lot of information in here one of the things that you just need to look for is basically quarterly earnings reports and if you go to 10k what you will notice is this okay this is the company revenue this is where they get in their money from okay and these are for example different so 2020 this is what they've got 2019 and then 2018 just broken down in yearly now by looking at iPhones and Macs and the iPad iPads and wearables and home accessories and so on you can see straight away majority of their income comes from things that you already are familiar with things that are not haram obviously and by doing this straight away you know if, imagine if this basically straight away you've seen I don't know something along with those lines of and now I'll, they will never sell something to do with alcohol but imagine if that is basically they had a revenue coming from alcohol even if it's basically if it's more than five percent then you might want to say you know what subhanallah this is not the company for me this is not what I want to do so you can find a different company so read the profile of the company first once you are happy with that and you think okay I need to do a little bit more digging go to the company section of the investor relations okay once you've got to investor relations section go that every single company in the world ha that's public has the um, 
investor relations section so once you've gotten in here you can look at the 10k you can look at the financial statement you can basically check for each quarter okay you can do it yearly if that's what you wanted but i've selected 2020 the um 10k so the 10k is a massive document is over 100 pages but the bit that you need is basically where the basically breakdown of where the basically things are coming from net sales per category by looking at this you can see it straight away. Uh, by the way, you can also use to find out where the company is profitable and basically where they're getting their money from or what's done, what is up and so on. So this is another, I'll probably do another video of how to look at this sort of thing. But by looking at this, you can see straight away where their revenue is coming from. So if you type, for example, Apple Re um, Investor Relations, you will get to this page where you can find all that information. So inshallah, hopefully that will be helpful. All right. So that's that one. The second thing we're going to look at is the ethical side of things. So when you invest in a company, you obviously want to invest in a company that are doing things ethically. So you don't want a company that is basically ruining the environment or basically doing something else that you're not comfortable with. They basically not um, doing anything that is haram, obviously, but they're doing things that are unethical, things that are against humanity, things are you not comfortable with and doesn't actually sit well with you. That sort of a thing. If you feel like okay this company what they're doing is so for example if you take a um, you know companies that deal with medicine companies like pharmaceutical companies for example they're doing great you know important things for them basically for the humanity for example Pfizer if you look at what they're doing finding the vaccine for the um, COVID-19 again that's a company that's doing something really well then you need to look at the halalness you need to look at the debt haram um, revenue and then they cash if you're happy with all of this then you can just say okay I'm happy with obviously the ethical practice side of things so ethical is a really easy one but obviously it's definitely important so because you know you don't want to oil companies that are ruining the environment or that sort of a thing okay and again it, it depends person to person that I have my own preferences you also probably will have your yours as well so the next thing we look at is the debt now when you look in debt the ulama, you know, the scholars are saying it has to be less than 33%. Okay, some of them will say 30%. But again, you don't want to invest in a company that is in debt. Because in the end of the day, they're not going to make a profit. They're not going to make a lot of money for you if they're basically in debt. If they can't pay their debt within a year or two or three, then imagine if the company goes down. Then they will have to liquidate everything, take that money out and basically pay the debt first before you get paid as an investor. So you don't want to invest it anyway. Whether you're Muslim or non-Muslim, you should definitely afford companies that have high debt. Okay, and is important. So one of the things that you could do, you know, so and I do, is for example, if you go to, um, I will show you. Okay, so there's a couple of um, Zoya, by the way, and Islamically are two apps that I use to basically kind of help me kind of very quickly screen whether companies are halal or not. I know some of you are using. I know Zoya sometimes can be up, you know, out of date because they come, you know, when the companies have released new revenues and so on, they don't update that straight away. Because I know there's a couple of companies that I had before that when basically uh, became haram to be honest to invest in things like coca-cola where they've actually recently purchased a company that sells alcohol and that company still says it's halal so i'm not sure why what what, what they're doing there but obviously do your research please before you uh, before you actually don't just use this company basically okay or both of them just to make sure that you do your own due diligence before you make your investment so what I normally do is imagine Procter & Gamble, what you will do is the, the total debt of a company divided by the market cap will give you a number times by 100 to get the percentage. If that percentage is less than 30%, then Alhamdulillah, I'm happy to invest in that company because I know third is not bad. They can pay that back maybe within a couple of years and so on. So what you will do is you'll find the total debt of a company, you'll find the market cap, Okay, then you could divide those two together, divide those two together, and then find out the percentage from there. Okay, and if it's less than thirty-three percent, alhamdulillah. So one of the things that you could easily do is go to Yahoo uh, Finance straight away as soon as you put the ticker or PG, for example. The market cap is there. If you go to statistics, in fact, I will use this because this is easier to find. I think they're all together. So if you're using um, Seeking Alpha, 
if I can find it. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so the total debt, market cap, so this divided by this, whatever you get, that's your percentage. Okay, obviously times by 100 to get the percentage. So that's how I do it when I'm looking for this, uh, the debt side of things. When it comes to har haram revenue, again, you just need to look at the company's revenue, again, like what we're doing here with Apple, and find out if they, basically, if something, imagine the Mac was something haram completely, if this was 11%, then you will say, nope, I do not want to invest in this company. If it's less than 5%, uh, the scholars are saying is acceptable. So you might find a company like uh, airline companies where all their revenues comes from obviously tickets and things like that, but they also sell alcohol during the flight and that revenue is a very small 1%, 2% of their revenue, total revenue, then you can say, okay, this is okay. Okay, and the final thing is the cash. Okay, you don't want a company that basically has a lot of cash because what you end up doing is then rip becomes a riba because you're giving them money and they're giving you money back. That's not what you want. So, liquid does not exceed 80% of the total assets of basically of that company, otherwise, it becomes a riba. Okay, so you just make sure the company is cash basically, current cash is not, is not basically more, is less than 80%. Okay. Again, these figures are basically what the scholars have agreed on. It's not something I just came up with uh, with it. But again, you need to do your research and find out a bit more information. So inshallah, I hope that kind of makes sense. So just to quickly summarize, when you look into the revenue of a company, just look at the um, where they're getting their money from, the ethical side of things. If you're happy with the ethical, you're happy with the debt. Again, by dividing the revenue by the sorry, the market cap, the total debt by dividing by market cap, you will get that in the percentage, and obviously that will help you. Final thing is the um, going back to the Zoya and Islamically. I am not affiliated with these two companies. I don't have a. I've got an account with Zoya. Um, but I don't have basically Islamically yet. Inshallah, I'm going to review it as well. But please make sure, like I was saying about uh, Coca-Cola recently, they've based Coca-Cola bought a company, I think in Latin America, that sells alcohol. But I don't think they get any, re you know, they get any revenues maybe next year or two. But at the same time, I didn't feel comfortable investing in a company that is planning to sell alcohol. So I basically sold all my shares and put into PepsiCo, which is one of the um, biggest holdings that I have. Okay, I hope that was helpful.